So today I'm going to talk to you about a very big secret that a lot of NBA players don't really come out to say. However, Kyrie Irving a few years ago did say this specific secret. And the secret is, is medicine basketballs or medicine balls. You can get a basketball that's double the weight. You can also get a medicine ball that can go upwards of 15, 20 pounds. Now the one we're going to use today is six pounds. It does bounce. It's not like a regular medicine ball that may have sand in it where you slam it down and it kind of stays there. You want the kind that bounces. Now there is a reason behind this. So the first reason is, is you can do a lot of dribbling drills. You can do stationary pound dribbles. Now you can do this with a regular basketball. However, with a medicine ball, it's a lot heavier. It's a lot harder to bounce and you can really get a lot of a, a really good workout just by doing pound dribbles. Remember, whatever you do with one side, you also want to do with the other. You can also do wide crossovers to really work on getting that ball super wide so that you can cross more ankles. So if you're a bit older and you can actually use a four pound or a six pound medicine ball, this is obviously not for little kids. This is for those who are able to even get the ball up to the rim, but taking shots, working on your shooting form, Remember, don't change your shooting form. Don't change it to something that you're not usually shooting like. Remember, you wanna shoot the exact same as if you're shooting a basketball. You wanna try and get that backspin on that ball. Now, if you don't have a basketball net to take that shot, you can still just stand in one spot at home and take that shot. Try to get that backspin on that ball. That's really going to help your wrist strength and also your just shooting strength overall. Your legs getting down low, going up, core, shoulders, triceps, wrists, everything. You can even combine this. You can go and do a few dribbles before and then you can go into your shot as well. However, this is not just all that you can do with a medicine ball with basketball, no. You can do squats. These are very good. If you're younger, this is a great way to get into shape. You can do forward lunges, slam that ball on both sides, stand back up. That's really going to be working your shoulders, your core, your leg. You can do a ton of different exercises with a medicine ball. You can do even one of my favorite exercises with the medicine ball, which is touching the ground, kicking that back foot up and then exploding up. Land back down and explode up. This is really going to work on your hips, your core, and obviously everything to do with jumping higher. So what you would want to do is to stay on your toe with the foot that stays on the ground. You're going to go down, tense that core, kick that, that back foot up, and then explode up, trying to keep everything in line. This next exercise, you wanna get down into a squat. You wanna keep your shoulders back. You wanna have your knees and shoulders over your toes, and you wanna go above your head, but not behind. You wanna go above your head, slam it down. You can do that for 10 to 15 reps, or you can go for a time limit as well. Now getting into the basketball movements jab step with a slam ball and what we're going to do here is we're going to get down feet shoulder width apart on our toes we're going to bring the ball from this side to our right side slam it and then whatever you do with your right side you also want to do with your left side now this is really going to help you with your explosion coming off of your first step this is going to help you explode past your defender so much faster that's going to allow you to get past them. And of course, dunk, layups, whatever it may be. Now this next drill, if you're a center, a forward, or even a guard who wants to grab more rebounds and more put back baskets, this is definitely the exercise for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the first hash mark. We're gonna get down. We're gonna keep this ball to our chest. We're gonna go down into a squat. We're gonna jump. We're going to then do a slam ball on the ground, pivot and go up for that shot. So it's gonna look like this in faster speed. Tight to your chest, down into a squat, jump squat, slam it, and when you're slamming it, you're gonna be doing a drop step. And there's even more advanced things than you can do with a medicine ball as well. I hope that this video has helped you become a better basketball player. 
If it has, hit that like button. Of course, check out all of the links to the things I use in my videos, for example, this medicine ball, down in the description below. I'll see you guys again next time.